Well, the big Chicago to Mackinac sailing race will start tomorrow morning in the Windy City. Thousands of sailors will deal with stormy weather as they make their way up Lake Michigan around the top of the mitten. One of the teams has a unique purpose and crew. They're all from, they're from all over the country, but their coach and one of the sailors, they have their roots here in West Michigan. 24 Hour News 8's Teresa Weekly shares their purpose as they race to Mackinac and beyond. Out here on the water, sailing on a breeze is a new experience. I fell in love with this. For Dan DeWint. The memories that haunt me, just all that emotional baggage that uh, a lot of us carry with us that we just can't seem to get rid of. But a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Some of the stuff that's wrong with my head. Dan has been through plenty of rough waters. Just got through uh, 26 years of military abuse on the body. You can only watch, you know, death and destruction so long before it really starts to have an effect on you. Out on the water now, getting ready for the Chicago to Mackinac sailing race. Not all of the scars these veterans have are visible. I have a lot of PTSD, and of course with that comes anxiety and depression. Um, a lot of folks with PTSD, some of them act out. Me, I withdraw. My civilian way of saying is it's pretty much anybody from cancer survivors to spinal cord injuries and anybody in between that's had any military service are welcome to come join the warrior sailing family and learn how to sail. Okay. Ben Poucher is from the Kalamazoo area, but now travels the world helping veterans like Dan find a way to stay anchored through sailing. This is the Warrior Sailing Program. Like his crew, Ben has wounds. He helped create this program five years ago, right after losing his mother. When I lost my mom, I think one of the things that she talked about and one of the things that you emphasize and realize in people's lives, like towards the end, is that you, you need to give back. You know, what's, what's, what do you walk away with? You know, you don't walk away with this stuff. I, I think it's the only thing that I've found that's helped heal is to help other people. Ben has done that, helping his warriors discover that you can't control the wind, but you can direct the sail. This program, along with years of therapy, helped Dan yeah, find that balance. Support. And there was a huge storm and it was raining. Uh, high winds, look back at uh, Ben, and uh, he has this giant smile on his face. And I was like, as long as Ben is smiling, we're safe and, uh, and just had a blast. I might be more nervous on the inside, but he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> In the military, there are goals, directives, family. This isn't much different. They're like small teams, dark places, bad food. I did that for a long time, and now we're this doing it again. Yeah, it's all good. Storms this weekend will test each of these warriors as they race together. So people save each other's lives, and we work together as a team to get places and point A to point B. We don't really remember who won last year or who's going to win next year, but we remember we got there, and we worked together and had fun, and everyone was smiling. So we're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Everything else, pain, hardship, they leave on the shore. We're in the Great Lakes, and the sun's shining. Um, you know, I'm where I want to be, doing what I want to do. Teresa Weekly reporting. Program leaders donated a 15-foot sailboat to Dan, which he and his wife are learning how to use. And they rely on donations from sponsors for the boats and to cover the cost of the training and travel for all of the veterans. You can find out how to support that program and track the crew as they race to Mackinac. You can find it inside of our story posted right now at woodtv.com.